on guys so I'm on my way to the powder coaters and I'm gonna go get a price to paint this um, exhaust shield because it's silver right now so uh, gonna go do that but the video I guess our most requested thing I've been getting lately is uh, tons of stuff on Instagram and, and YouTube is uh, what's the comparison like Ooh, that new vent looks good what's the comparison uh, you know from the 2021 uh, Ducati Street Fighter V4 compared to the 2020 uh, Yamaha MT10 that I just got rid of um, you know there's you know they're both naked bikes uh, they're both pretty powerful the seat on this is just leaps and bounds better than the MT10 and I don't know if this is just a little bit of a more aggressive stance so you know you have a little bit more weight on your wrist it's it's got a little bit more sport bike feel to it than the uh, the MT10 did uh, so maybe that helps get some of the pressure off your butt but the seat is definitely more comfortable 100% uh, and then overall comfort wise it feels about the same to me uh, this is narrower this is definitely a narrower feeling bike so uh, and, and maybe it's just the perception but I feel like it makes it feel more nimble than the uh, MT10 just just my opinion though the, the MT10 feels bulky uh, especially around the tank the uh, tank grips on this bike definitely helped you know hold you up you just grab a grip around the paint you know around the tank because the paint's pretty slippery um, so quick shifter up and down phenomenal absolutely phenomenal probably the best I've ever I've ever had uh, a couple of times it's you know when I'm going up um, let's say to you know two or uh, thir third gear let's say it um, it, uh, it almost gives you like that false neutral and I don't know if that's because you know it's me not putting enough pressure on it but um, up and down man it, it's just extremely smooth I, I love it I love it um, power wise no comparison this thing effing rips man this thing is ridiculous I mean it is bonkers man I love it this is way faster than the MT10 in my opinion and this is gears to not give you full torque it's bonkers man this will blow the doors off the mt10 now the torque comes on just a little bit uh earlier in the power band or, or in the rpm rev range uh than the mt10 did oh you gotta be shitting me i forgot my effing wallet Ah, oh, shit, and there's a good chance I'm going to get pulled over on this, too, so I got to get off. Damn it. Shit. Well, that sucks. So, anyways, way more powerful, definitely faster. I guess the big thing is really is it worth all the extra money you know I think the MT10 is like 13 grand MSRP this is 20 grand MSRP um, you know look I'm, I'm a bike guy and uh, this is what I spend my money on I don't drink I don't do drugs I don't go out and club or you know I like trucks and cars and all that but it's just not my thing 
Um, they're cool, don't get me wrong, but I, it's just, I, I, I'm a bike guy and uh, I personally think it's worth the money. It's, uh, you know, fit and finish is phenomenal. You know, of course the Ducati brand just makes you feel like, you know, it's something special. And it is, it's a, it's a nice, nice bike. This lady's texting. Longevity wise, how it does, you know, as it is, is it as reliable as the Yamaha? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, so far, I haven't had any issues, but I only have 719 miles on it. So it's yet to be known. I've spoken to many guys that own them. Uh, so far the highest one I've talked to has had 10,000 miles on it and they had no ish. Actually I think it's a woman. Uh, uh, she had hit 10,000 miles, had no issues so far. Um, it's It's been an excellent bike. I, I put this 600 miles on this thing quick too. I, I, I mean I had it a, just a couple of weeks and I knocked it out because I wanted to get that service done and start kind of playing a little harder on it uh, I'm just starting to learn to wheelie it a little bit because of the way the power comes on I've never been a wheelie clutch type of guy the MT-10 I could pretty much go through almost all the gears on it my KTM 500 I could go through all the gears on that you know first through through six I could ride a wheelie in all the gears but um, this one has got lots of different things done to it to make it not wheelie. I mean, besides all the traction controls and nanny stuff that's on it, which, you know, I get. But uh, this has got um, some, you know, reverse rotational crank something or other in there. So it actually helps keep it down. The swing arm's been extended, so it, it doesn't go up in the air. It, you know, they, they were trying to fight it wheeling in, I suppose. They also, like I said, um, turned down the torque in first through fourth gears, which, I don't know. I guess it's purposeful that you don't flip it over, but uh, I'd like to have it all. I mean, and let me decide if I, can, if I want to turn it down or turn it up or whatever, but I like the power. I like the wheelies. So, I don't know. Um, it's it, it, it's not the handful of bike that you think it would be though. I mean it is. You know the more you crank the throttle obviously the crazier it gets. But you know I was downtown last week and you know stop sign to stop sign is just stop and go and I was buzzing around downtown in race mode. It's a very rideable bike. And then it just cra it gets crazy when you need it to when you hit that throttle. I've got all the nannies off of it except for traction control one and slide control one. Everything else is zero. Um, you know, I'm in Florida, Fort Myers, and there's not a whole lot of corners or anything. It's all straight, flat, kind of sucky. Uh, that's it. So I don't feel like I need tons of that stuff. I'm not getting, you know, put my knee down or anything out here. So. But um, overall, I absolutely love the bike. It's incredible. It, it's, it's super fast. It's beautiful looking. Um, you know, it feels great, rides great. Everything about it's amazing, as it should be for the price. It should be the best that there is. And that's another thing, you know, I don't keep bikes super long. I get over them, I get bored with them, and you know, I sell them and then get something else to try. But what do you, naked bike-wise, what do you get after this? I mean, that, that new Kawasaki with a supercharger is all right, you know, I mean, it's just, I'm just not a huge Kawasaki fan. I think it's a little bit ugly. Um, and it's still not as much horsepower as this is. So it's just like, what do you do? How do I go from this to something less, you know, 208 horsepower is going to be a tough <laughs> deal. So, but anyways, 
All right, well, I guess I'm gonna call my wife and have her grab my wallet. I've also gotta go to the stupid powder coaters and then I gotta go to the stupid phone place. Not stupid powder coaters, they're actually pretty awesome. But um, I gotta, have you seen this phone, seen better days? This is my, my phone that I was doing that wheelie at uh, 70 miles an hour and it flew off and survived but it's never been right since and that was uh, like a year ago or months ago and it is absolutely just brutal um, I can't half the thing doesn't even text right is that my wife there she's got that Lexus all right well anyways I better go before she gets too far I really don't want to go all the way back to my house and get my wallet when she can grab it for me so all right guys Anyways, I'll, I'll uh, keep you updated and tell you how I'm liking the bike after uh, time goes on. But, you know, again, if you're talking about is it worth it compared to the MT-10, like I said, I personally think it is. I think it's freaking awesome. I think it's worth every penny. But that's just me. I'm a bike guy. Uh, I would definitely, I spend the money on it. I, I have no, no problem dishing out the money for this. It's, it's, it's amazing. So, anyways, tell me what you guys think. Do you think it's worth it? Go, go, go see one in person and uh, at the Ducati dealer. And you tell me if, if you think this bike is not one of the most beautiful bikes you've ever seen in your life in person. So, all right, guys, I'm out. See you.